stay safe, stay healthy in this lockdown period. Today I am going to talk about the lesson, the dear departed one. The dear departed is divided in two parts, the dear departed one, the dear departed two. Now I am going to talk about the lesson, dear departed, the dear departed one. The title itself is very interesting. Somebody who is dear ones, our family members, friends, etc. Dear means who is dear ones. Deported means died. Deported means died. Let's see whether it is true or not in this lesson, recording in this lesson. Mm, let's look at main characters in this lesson. Mistress Amelia Slater, Mistress Elizabeth Jordan. These two members are uh, daughters of Abel Mary Weather. Henry Slater and Ben Jordan. Henry Slater, Amelia Slater's husband. Ben Jordan, Elizabeth Jordan's husband. Victoria Slater, Amelia's, Amelia Slater's daughter, uh, 10 years old girl, Victoria. Eben Mary was the father of Amelia and Elizabeth. Here another character is, uh, that character is Jimmy. Jimmy, no role played. Jimmy is not included, but uh, Jimmy mentioned one point at a uh, once in this dear departed one. The story begins with the scene in which Mr. Slater is seen laying the table. She calls her daughter Victoria and advises her to change clothes before her aunt and uncle Ben Jordan, Elizabeth Jordan arrive. Victoria asks her mother Asks her mother, what are they coming for now? Amelia, Amelia, your father informed them about your grandpa's death through a telegram. So your aunt and uncle may arrive at once any time. Change your clothes now. Henry raises a doubt if the Jordans would come at all. Do you think they would really come? Because I remember when you both had a fight, your sister said she would never step into your house again. Amelia. Of course, dear, but I am sure she would definitely come at least to have her say in our father's property. We have to do some important things before Jordan's come. Henry, what, do, what should we do, Amelia? Amelia, first, take these new slippers of my father as your old slippers are almost worn out. And let us bring that beautiful bureau down and place our old bureau in a, my father's room. Henry. But uh, if your sister recognized that we have taken these things, Amelia. Don't worry, dear. She has never seen this view before in my father's room. Henry's daughter, who is listens these ideas, ask her father. Father, do you mean we are going to steal Grandpa's bureau? Henry, no, my, my dear Victoria, actually your grandpa has gifted it to your mother before he died. So, don't think we are stealing it. Don't say this to anybody. Mistress Henry thinks 
Victoria good enough to understand the things clearly. Better to be careful while discussing any anything in front of her. Meanwhile, Amelia brings down her father's old beautiful clock down on place on the mantelpiece. Now, Mr. Ben Jordan and uh, Mrs. Elizabeth Jordan enter the scene. Elizabeth Jordan. Well, Amelia, he has gone at last. Amelia. Yes, sister. Father was doing well this morning. He had breakfast and went out for some time, maybe to pay his insurance. I have seen him snug in bed and take rest after his return. After his return in this evening, then I took dinner to him. He was still on the bed. When I tried to wake up, wake him up, he did not respond and was quite bored. Ben Jordan. Amelia, don't worry. Control yourself. In fact, we all have got to die sometime or other. He really did a great thing by paying his insurance premium. Victoria. But mother, I don't think grandpa went to pay his insurance this morning. Actually, he met Mrs. Mr. Sat Tattersall down in the street. And uh, they went off past St. Philip's Church. Listening to Victoria was annoyed when Jordan says the old drunken, the drunken old beggar. Elizabeth Jordan, I am sure that the old man initially not paid the premium. Amelia. Even I think so. I have done a great service to the old man when he was at our house for three years. He didn't show even that gratitude. And the all have tea for some time. Then Mr. Slatter says, I think now would be better to make a list of all the valuables of old man and decided who takes what. Elizabeth Jordan That is indeed a good idea. Before that I want to add one something. Father has gifted his golden watch to our Jimmy when he was at our house. He was really fond of Jimmy. Amelia. Then first let us see what are the things the old man possesses. Victoria, uh, why don't you go upstairs and bring the bureau keys uh, from your grandpa's room? Victoria looked nervous. Me? Grandpa's room? I don't like to go upstairs now. Amelia, don't be so silly, Victoria. There is no one upstairs to hurt you. Victoria goes upstairs immediately, comes, comes running down and shouting. Grandpa is getting up. Grandpa is getting up. Everyone in the hall looks shocked to hear and shouts suddenly the door opens. The old Abel Mary weather comes out in a threaded grey color dressing gown. His bright, malicious eyes are twinkling under his heavy reddish grey eyebrows. So This is Vava, dear departed one. Next, next to the story, next part of the story, 
we will see in a they are departed to lesson okay thank you thank you ananda